this time we got a, a Jeep and a Celebrado that got stuck. So according to the owner, the Jeep got stuck first and then they brought the Celebrado trying to help. And both of them ended up getting stuck in the water. So they say that uh, they're not even like five feet away from uh, dry sand. So it should be it should be easy to get them, you know, to get them out. But we'll see. They said that they're pretty, uh, pretty buried up to the tires. So again, it should be easy. But uh, you know, once I get there, we'll figure it out. So thank you guys for coming along, and of course, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll keep recording once I get there. So this recovery is kind of like a deja vu for me. A while back, I recovered another Silverado and another Jeep, kind of uh, on the same situation, where one of them got stuck, the other one came to help, and at the end, both of them ended up stuck. I'm gonna leave a link right on top of the, uh, the video, and also at the end of the video, if you wanna see that uh, recovery. Yesterday we got here, I was home. She hits me up. She's like, you wanna come to the bar? I'm like, I'm home, chilly, relaxing, yeah, you know, yeah. having my good day. She's like, come over, come over. Like, oh. So I come here like 10, and then we leave at three, and then started going the opposite way instead of coming this way. Okay. And then we got stuck in the river. Oh, no, dang. so we got out. I got out with my Jeep. I'm, Jeep, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm home. Uh -huh. I'm home, and these fools are crying. They're like, I don't know if you don't know where we are. Please come get us. Oh my God. Oh, so I came back from Moreno Valley, Oh, and I got stuck. Oh, man. So they got stuck, you came to rescue them, and then you got stuck. I got stuck, yeah. Okay, all right. It's fucking, yeah, that thing is like, the chassis on the floor and shit. For real? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to dig it out with my hand. Yeah, you can. Just too, yeah, just too much water, just yeah. keep pushing it in there, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And were, I was gonna take that car in, pull it out, but I'm like, it's not gonna work. Yeah, I know. So it's like right after the tires. Most definitely, it wouldn't work. there for I was like right there I'm like oh I got it just dug in yeah yeah as soon as it dug in I'm like okay it's done I, I don't think I'll be able to fucking do it and where's your friend oh, she, so the truck is like literally as soon you see them walking right here yeah they just walk like literally like you walk that way and then you, you go see the truck so, yeah, so it's in the water water are they attached to you uh no 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 that one's far that one's far in there okay but not too far Whoa, 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 damn. Look at that. Look at that. Look. Man. Whoa. Anyway, let me go check out the other vehicle. Peekaboo. <laughs> Found it. Let's go check it out. Whoa. The sand is like really soft. Like my, look, look at that. Look at that, look at that. My feet is, uh, it gets better right away. No wonder why they got stuck. It's pretty much very up to the chassis. Okay, so we got him hooked up. He has a stock bumper, and the only hooking point is that right there. So, let's go. Okay, come on. Slow, 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 slow.
Okay, one down, one to go. Let's go. All right, we're getting ready to pull the second one. Let's put some tension on it. And let me get out of the way of the winch. The winch line anyway. Here we go. It's burying my truck, you see that? Hold on, hold on. It was burying my truck. come and we're out they're following me right now the guy on the jeep he already got out he's waiting for them somewhere over here you know so after having a long night and I'm talking about them you know uh, after having a long night now they're out they're going home we're going home so thank you guys for watching our videos and we'll see you next time